So this is what I've got so far. Those PVCs, that was on my original PVC kayak. It had a wood frame. It was really heavy. I'm trying to redo it lighter this time. Bed frames. That angle iron came from our, under a table. It was supporting a table. The table was a uh, press board. It got wet and fell apart. I kept the angle iron. So between the bed frames and the angle iron, it should be a lot lighter this time. These corner pieces, that's off a ride lawnmower. I'm going to use those as gussets in the corner. It'll make it stronger and square. And then when I get it all welded together, maybe lay a piece of plywood in there. In the middle, I got a lot of 4 inch PVC. I used it on my amphibious go kart project. I could fill the whole middle up with 4 inch, 30 inches wide. That should give you plenty of flotation and stability. And not be as heavy this time. I just got to get it welded together. And then I think maybe ratchet straps for the PVC. Oh, and on the back, mount a board on that bed frame and hang my uh, homemade boat motor back there. I am right back on the PVC boat and what I've decided is make it a little bit wider and put five four inch PVCs in there. I could put six, but then it wouldn't be symmetrical. I don't want, I'm going to keep it symmetrical with just five. Probably the two long ones on the bottom, the three shorter ones on top, the two big ones on the outside. So what I got to do, cut this angle off, cut that angle off at 36 inches, and we can weld this piece together, get this project moving. This is where I'm at so far. I've got the frame, it's sitting in place. I've got it level on this end, it's sitting on the table saw down here. I've got this corner square, I'm going to go ahead and tack it together. Then we'll square up this corner, tack it together. Then we'll square up the other two corners, tack it together. And I've got some gussets off of a lawnmower. That's going to strengthen up two of the corners. So I'll find something else for the other two corners. My next step, start welding. Corner number one has been welded together. Corner number two has been welded together. Up next, three and four. I've got this side square, that side as a C-clamp holding it square. It's time to tack it together. Corner three is ready to be cleaned up and painted. It is done. Kind of hard to see it there, but that's what the corner looks like. And there's the gusset about to go in. On the other side, that's what it looks like. And it's going to look something like this in just a few minutes. That should make it strong enough to put a boat motor on it. That's probably a little bit hard to see, but the gusset is welded in. Let's check out the other side. It's in the sun. Well, now it's in the sun. I got a piece of scrap plywood. This is half inch treated. This is scrap from my uh, pontoon boat build. And I got some more bed frame uh, from here to this line, 36 inches. I'm going to come up, this board is 32 inches wide, so I'm going to come up 32 inches from the back, right about here, and I'm going to put in this angle from this bed frame, and I'm going to have a plywood floor back here. So I finally got me a MIG cart. I think it's one of the overhead projector carts from the old schoolhouses. Anyway, that sure beats carrying it around. Got my grinder plugged in. Time to do a little cutting. I just picked up this treated $7 2 by 6 I'm going to cut it right in the middle. And I picked up some hardware. I got an extra bolt. I got a fair, it fell out of the bag somewhere. Anyway, this is going to go on the back right here, and the kicker's going to mount on there. So I just held my stern board in place, centered, and I traced these lines. It's going to look just like that, flush with the top of the angle. And then these bolts, these are 5 16 bolts, they fit in these slots perfectly. So I gotta drill four holes, put in four bolts, and the back is done. Oh, and I've got the plywood sitting in place too. So I got the PVC kayak on the trailer last night. I took the ratchet strap and I weaved it through every pipe up front, every pipe in the back around the big one, around all four, around the big one. That's three ratchet straps. I've got to find the uh, homemade boat motor, put it on the trailer. 
get the plywood, I gotta notch it for the ratchet shroud. That'll be seven notches. And hook it to the car. It is just a few seconds later and the plywood has been notched. It's sitting in place. It's a tight fit so it shouldn't fly off. I got this boat motor instead of the homemade one. The homemade one's still attached to the homemade barrel boat. The throttle is. Uh, just thinking out loud, what do I need? Uh, paddles? Life jackets? A cooler would be nice. Let's go over to the homemade barrel boat. Here on the hole in one barrel boat, inside of the storage, there's the life jacket. Which paddle? This paddle? I better get one more life jacket. To be legal? And there is a cooler somewhere in here. Oh, right there. Hang on. So I wound up with two life jackets, the homemade anchor, shout out to Dustin, the rope, the brute force magnet, and a paddle. The boy's got a paddle, he's got his kayak, and there's a cooler slash seat. I think we're ready.
So before I went, I caulked this 45. It didn't seem to leak. This one I thought was good. You can see how fast it's ripping out. I guess it was going in just as fast. I need to recalk that and go back.